This is a teardown of an Acer Aspire Revo R3610 mini PC. Older little PC that uh, wasn't worth selling, so yeah. It's interesting, this sticker. <laughs> they have the uh, COA on. It's uh, just notice it's hanging over the edges. But, uh, you know, I'll take a look inside. See what is up. Not too bad to get into it. So far at least. <laughs> now, the question is, how do I open it? I'm just trying to figure out the uh, magic way it opens. Let's see if it, nope. Hard drive in this really isn't worth anything, but I do like saving these old two and a half inch drives. <laughs> this might get the uh, bounce it off the floor treatment here. I don't feel any screws. So weird. Oh, I felt something do something weird. Well, then maybe I should have Googled it first. Because there's just nothing. These little holes which don't show up on camera because it wants to focus on the white. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, there we go. So apparently, this side panel without the label, just pry up on it. So it pops loose. And because it's clip based and all the plastic is brittle, all the clips won't snap and broke. So cool. <laughs> That's a fun little board. Kind of like this. Let's see what we got for memory here. Oh man. 1K DDR2. It's always funny too. I think it's just an Acer thing. I don't know why they call it GDDR2. GDDR is usually uh, memory and graphics cards, so yeah. Here's a little CMOS battery if you need to replace one of these. It's your run of the mill. It's a three pen, which is a little annoying, but oh well. Got a little breakout module here for the front USB ports. I wouldn't be shocked if this is a standard USB header. Nope, a little extra stuff going on there. Got a uh, power button and the LEDs, I think. Nope, I don't see any. LEDs. It must not have a. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm dumb. <laughs> a little LED there for indication of power on. It's kind of neat. This appears to have a socketed BIOS chip. Hard drive is screwed in through the motherboard on the bottom, which is, mm, I don't know, <laughs> not really good or bad. Looks like a hard drive replacement, this would have been a pain back in the day. Something else is holding me up. It'd be really sad if I had to remove the heatsink to get the motherboard out. I don't know who would have designed something like that. Just going to get the uh, percussive maintenance treatment here again soon though. Holding on for dear life. There's no way this hard drive is just loose though. No, it's definitely down solid. <sighs> the VGA port has little screw headers, but um, those aren't 
those aren't attached to anything, they're attached to the, just the connector itself. Alright, I think we need to take the fan off. This is an atom based processor. I decided to give it a little cooling probably because of the uh, spinning disk next to the heatsink. CPU is probably right there. Actually, no, I think it's right there. I see a little bit of plastic. A shield around. Or, well, not shield, uh, the whatever the stuff is that surrounds the die that the die mounts onto for a CPU. I'm not sure what's under the fins though. We'll find out. Oh, nope, I had it backwards. Wow, this had dedicated graphics. So, it has an Intel Atom SLG9Y. You'll have to look that up if you're curious what it is, because I'm not. <laughs> And then it has this NVIDIA chip. This looks like it's a 35N 3G4. Or is it the M MCP7A-I0N-B2? It might be an O. Hmm. And let's see if the motherboard's free. Because if it's not, I'm in trouble. Oh, that's why it's hanging up on the, uh, good thing this is rounded. <laughs> Felt sharper than it is, but it's hanging up on the uh, front eSATA port. Not much to see here, just uh, some metal shielding for, I assume, uh, uh, FCC compliance or whatever, and then your two wireless antennas. And it's a cute little motherboard. Here's the back side. You'll see that there's screws through the PCB for mounting the hard drive. Which is probably pretty messed up now because I have been beating on this thing now. <laughs> but, yep. Just your normal 2.5 hard drive. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see that at first. I wonder if this is like an Atom quad core or dual core. I don't know if those are individual CPU dies. Huh. Nothing special. Wireless cards. Probably an Atheros. Let's see here. Yep, it's an Atheros. You can tell because usually Intel puts Intel and Broadcom puts their label on the metal can. They're a little bit more proud of. Their cards, they want you to see what they are. <laughs> I've never liked the Atheros wireless cards. No particular reason why, though. This, they've always seemed like they've been a pain to deal with. But that presumably is the BIOS chip that won't focus. There we go. It's a wind bond. And it's even labeled BIOS socket right next to it. There's actually a lot of labeling. Hard drives labeled. Kind of cool that they label stuff like that that nobody will ever see. So them zeros down here, top one's one. <laughs> Card reader. Kind of wonder why they bother some of the silk screening on this stuff since uh, it's still done by robots and uh, it's not like anyone's ever going to do board level repair. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Not much else to see. Hopefully that was uh, interesting and thanks for watching.